G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to Survival Fountains of Youth where I'll wake it up to a fresh and crisp morning, ready to finish off my island. I still can't really get over just how gorgeous all the lighting is in this game. The sun's coming up, everything's nice and blaring and glary and wonderful to look at, but I've come back with a mission in mind and you will notice... Some things have changed since last time we were here. I've got a harpy trophy up on the wall because turns out murdering a bunch of penguins means you get to mount one eventually. I've also got some more boar skins as well, but I've really put some work in to try and solidify my base, I suppose. I have a gubbins cart to drag around 80 kegs worth of stuff, which has been super duper helpful. Didn't realize I could make one of those until way too far into the game. Also got a log cart as well, because doing all your manufacturing on your, your log thing, your carpentry bench at your house just speeds it up so much more. So I've really gone through and progressed about as much as I can, because today is my last day on my home island. I've got a couple of things I need to do. I've explored some more of the map so I can see where I need to go. I need to find the rest of my clay tablets. I need to do some other things, check off some boxes before I jump back in my canoe and start heading up to the new area up the top. Don't know what's going to be waiting for me up there, but I doubt it's going to be good. But I've got to keep exploring and keep adventuring and finding the things that I need. What? Hang on a second. Ah, uh, all right. I guess I'm going to go there as well. There's what looks like a shipwreck, but it's an unknown location. Guess we'll add that to the list of things to do today. And there's already a lot. Oh, uh, you know what? That'll be that little like mast that's sticking out of the water over there between those three rocks I noticed the other day. Okay, yep, that, that's fine. I had that on the list already. I guess it's now a shipwreck that we know. But before I leave for today, in my, not really adventures, just in my chores of going around and unlocking the map, a couple of times where, yeah, here we go, over this side, over to the east, guarded by wolves and all sorts of honey badgers and whatnot, there's obsidian deposits. I haven't seen any of these things yet. I just popped up on the map and I got curious. So it's like all these like interesting sites and stuff around the place. So I might need to make myself up here. I might need to make myself in here somewhere. So it loads everything in, please. Is there? There is a pickaxe. I need a long handle and a stone. Or right, I'll get myself a long piece of wood for the first time in my life. Grab one of you. Stones are inside my house. That's all fine. If I don't have a long handle, never mind then. Give me you. Give me a pebble. Let's make myself a pickaxe so I can get all the obsidian for all of my tools. Before I go, quick little squiz at what I've got to nibble on before I trek up into the mountains. Got a soup with beju, which is like the intestine soup. It's a twin line food, 45 water and health regen. Tasty dish. All right, I might actually take you guys with me. I don't have a lot of carrying capacity, so I can't go too willy-nilly about this. I've got... I had an extra bamboo flask in here. All right, fine. You can say that. That's okay. I don't have to say that with me. I'm sure you'll come in handy later on. I'll have a cheeky little nibble on you, though. And another one too. Get myself right up and at him. Ready to rock and roll. I think we're about as good as I'm ever going to be. Yeah, okay. What have, I, what have I got on me? I've got a spear, a bow, the new better bow, mind you. Not the primitive bow anymore. And my obsidian axe. That should be all I want. Yeah, okay. We're ready to rock and roll. I haven't managed to uh, repair my bag yet, by the way. So in the Tanner's workshop, if I want to upgrade you, I need to find the strong bread from a cannonball tree, which I can't seem to find anywhere on the map. So I assume maybe that's at the next island. I also need to get copper ingots, which I also shoot for the next island as well. So there's still some things yet to be done. I'm just hopeful it happens rather quickly. All right, ready to go? Ready to rock and roll? Let's go. I need to go to the south, go down to here. And actually, that's where... The shipwreck is. Do you reckon it's worth me? Oh, yeah, okay. Do you reckon it's worth me taking the boat out to them? Yeah, I reckon it is. I reckon it is. If it's a shipwreck, let's take the ship and try to wreck our new one. I didn't actually realize before I left that I do have a minor cut going on at the moment. All right, hold your horses. Can I quickly have a squiz at you? You don't have... Mm, I was kind of hoping you would. You don't have any medical supplies in there. That's silly by me. All right, just chuck everything in. Jump on the helm. Are you facing the wrong way? Yeah, facing the wrong way. All right, let's just quickly chuck a cheeky U-banger and head back out into the waves. All right, we're going that way. Let's go find the shipwreck. Is this going to be the wreck of the ship that I came in on? Like the horse that I rode in on? Maybe I'm going to crash into the halo and destroy that as well. All right, that's going to be fine. Let's go see what we've got. Hopefully some gubbins. I don't know how it's going to work, actually. I'm going to quickly just... Oh, don't wreck your ship. Just chuck you here. Step off from the helm. 
please don't float away anymore anywhere please be there when i come back we're gonna quickly run back up to the house i'll grab a bandage while i'm there but i need to get some some mapping charcoal because at the moment it's an undiscovered location but if i get out there i need a charcoal to like actually discover it or map it out and i don't have it with me that's just gonna be annoying so may as well grab it with me now it's only a couple of bits of grams it's really gonna weigh me down too much may as well just line my pocket and get our hands nice and dirty there's a couple of bits of land out here and ooh, ooh. some things bobbling about in the water they're either gonna be rocks or more little like crates whatever they were the thing i wasted all my life on the first time around yeah no just an empty crate that's fine floating away what's gonna be out here and um more importantly the more pressing question is are there gonna be underwater monsters out here given that it's basically one big box filled with delicious treats that sharks and octopuses and whatnot generally like to snack on sailing level three can i quickly just like plonk you up over here is this gonna work for me step away from the helm jump onto you that's definitely a mask of some kind. This is actually the first time I've played this game since the hotfix came out. It actually came out like 20 minutes after I uh, finished filming the last episode. So this could be a bit dicey. Sunken ship. So I didn't need to... Island map unavailable at this location. All right, fair enough then. Do I, do I need to map it? Should I map it? I'm not particularly high up. I don't have a mapping option. So, all right then. Let's just get into it. Get our pokey pokey thing out and ready to rock and roll. Oh, oh, I'm nervous about having this kind of popped in. Oh, God. There are sharks. There are sharks in the depths, and I am a coward. I don't want to do this anymore, but there's definitely a shipwreck going on over there. All right, let's take the boat, get a little bit closer, because we want to skedaddle very bloody quickly. Getting onto a floating pontoon of glory is the best way out. Uh-oh, I hear, I hear battle music, and I'm still in my boat. Can sharks eat my boats? I also think I just saw, not a putty cat, but a jellyfish. Oh, Jesus, it's getting real dice down here. All right, all the survival tips I've learned from living in the upside down is about to come to fruition. Let's just leave you there. Far enough out of the way that hopefully the sharks won't bother you. What are you, blue bottles? You, look like, you kind of look like man of war jellyfish, actually. I'm going to stay away from you because I do not feel like losing all my limbs this morning. Can I get a spear? Can I get anything? I can get a bow. But I can't roll with my spear out. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to pick a fight and scratch an itch and see if we can piss off the sharky boy. Come on, you finny fucker. Get over here and gobble up an arrow or two. For hopefully from range, I don't have to deal with you up close. I guess maybe it was only like that one little instance. Oh, it's the Santiago. I think that's actually the ship I rode in on. All right. Nice. Maybe it was just that one instance where I did pull out my bow for a second because it's now no longer working for me. I can't get it out. Okay, uh, this is very silly then. Let's try and stay away from that hungry bastard and see if I can hide somewhere. Oh, no, can't go that way. I can hear things that I do not want to deal with. Get down into here. Is there anywhere I can go that's going to help me? Am I here to like loot stuff or what am I actually here for? You're all boarded up. You're empty. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm gonna punch you right in the gills like I'm a surfer. Oh, get that. Smack that booty and call your flight. Uh oh, he mad. He mad. Oh, God, I left an imprint. That's the only way you gotta do it. If you ain't spanking and leaving marks, then what the hell are you doing? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, boxer shark. Fucking come here. I'm Mick Fanning. Oh, no. My stamina's depleted and I'm drowning. Um... Well, what do I do now then? Uh-oh. I'm getting chased by a shark and I don't have the oomph to move anyway. This is why I want... Ah! This is why I wanted to park my boat relatively closer. Please get the ship back over to some sort of rock and get your health back. I am a goose. Don't need a long neck to be a goose apparently because I have made a right mess of that. Okay. That was awful. Need to pay attention to your stamina bar as well there, Joshy boy. All right, in that case... Listen, I'm sorry, Boat, but you do have an awful lot of repair kits I can chuck in you. I don't have repair kits for me. Let's get the boat over there and see if I can pepper this sausage from up on high. That was awful. That sucked. That was the worst. I'm going to stand right on the bowsprit right about there. It's a little bit wonky, a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. Where are you? I can see the tips of your fins. I kind of want to go and get aggressive about it, but I also don't want to lose my toes. Is he actually going to come closer? I might have to go over to his side, actually. Right, hold on. 
Hold on, let's just give it a nice wild berth all the way around him. Vest took eight damage from a hit. What hits? Oh, the hitboxes on the rocks are a little bit iffy. Where are you now? How are you now? I absolutely cannot see him. I hate this. I hate being out here. I miss dry land so much. There he is. He's right below me. Hold on. Go like this. He's looking mad. Looking real aggro. Bonk. I definitely missed. I didn't get the pop. I'm saying I hit the bastard. Come on. There he is. Gliding through the water like a real aggressive seal. Oh, I wasted all my stamina by pulling this string back. All right. Hold on. This seems like my best option. Here we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Give me some lead. Bonk. No? Nothing? Please don't tell me I have to punch a shark to death. I really don't want to do that if I can at all avoid it. My arrows are floating, which is kind of lovely. There's another one. Does that mean my arrows don't actually penetrate the water at all? They don't either. That one just kind of hit the waves and stopped. Hopefully. Come on. Let me use the spear. Let me use the spear. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Jump back on the helm. Oh, I'm back in the water. I'm back in the water. I don't want to have to punch a shark to death. That's not the right option. I tried. I failed. I've taken an awful lot of damage. You give me some health. So please just eat one of you. Not because I actually need the sustenance. I just need the health regen instead. So what do I do about you then? Should I just like throw my spear at it? Will the spear hit the water and stop as well? Kind of. It gets a little bit deeper, but not especially great. I like that the things float though. That's really bloody cool. Oh, I don't have a lot of health for this. And he's circling. He knows I'm out of options. And he's just laughing at me down here, laughing through his gills. Mm, I need to get my stuff back. I need to get my stuff back. So what's the... How are you actually supposed to do this? And was there any extra reason to come out here? If I come out here and almost kill myself, no bloody reason. Are you ready for dumb ways to die with Woodle? Because that's where we're about at. Oh, there's one right there. I'm just going to quickly grab you. All right. Got to lure the Sharky in. And then when it gets close... Jump back onto you. Oh, I didn't get on the boat. I didn't get on the boat. I double tapped. I stupidly double tapped and I did not get in and he took off me shin. All right. Turns out dumb waste and I was actually a way to die. Oh, I just want to get down there. I can't do it with the shark cruising about. I've only taken a couple of chunks out of him and he's absolutely ravaged me. I can definitely see someone who's carked it on the seabed just over there. He might have something worthwhile for me, but that's why the shark's guarding him so vigorously. Doesn't want me to go looting the bloody selfish sausage. Right, I don't know what to do. Get my stamina back. My health is still absolutely cooked. Um... I hate that I can't use any like, any weapons underwater. It's a bloody spear after all. Just, just shank with it. Hang on. I have a harpoon back home. A harpoon is just like an underwater spear. I mean, that's not actually what a harpoon is. A harpoon is probably the same thing, but a harpoon will grab stuff. All right, give us a tick. I'm going to head back to Sean, grab my harpoon, come back and see if that will work for me. Yeah, okay. Okay, that might actually be the right option. I'm very bravely running away. I did not realize just how late it's getting. It's almost night time. The sun is about to set. It won't be as gorgeous as it normally is, but I promise you it's going to happen. Oh, I didn't show you guys this thing yet. Where is you guys? Get my clicky clacky rocks and get you going. Light you up. There you go. I now have lamps in my house and I have to rely on just the campfire so I can see things. I love the way it throws a lot of everything as well. I really enjoy all of the, uh, the aesthetics even. The aesthetics and the aesthetics of this game. You can go back into there now. I've literally, in fact, no one to light you soon. You've got fuel. You don't have any tinder. Can I grab anything that's going to get you going? One of those will do. Nice. Light up you. There we go. There we not go. Don't lie to me. Much better. Much better. Okay. I'm going to bravely have a nap, and then in the morning, there you are, the tusk-tipped harpoon, ready to go and stick it in the shark and get ourselves some fish and chips. All right, good morning again. The sun's already well and truly up in the sky, and I'm ready to rock and roll, and I'm armed to the teeth with some bory teeth, ready to stab that big fish right in whatever, whatever comes to me first, so probably it's snout or it's many, many teeth, ready to go and get my retribution. Despite all of my naps... I'm not fully health, uh, healthed, sure. I'm not fully healed just yet, so this is still a little bit dicey, but I'll get back on my boat, head back out to the shipwreck, finally put down that big fish and get whatever's waiting for me in the Santiago. Have a little slurp out of you. Yes, I can. Nom, nom, nom. Delicious, juicy treats first thing in the morning. All right, this time, 
No use hanging about. I'm not here to fuck any spiders. I'm just going to get straight in and try and take on the shark. Be bold. Be aggressive. Be e aggressive. Right over the top. Mind the jellies. Oh, and in we go. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, God, he's right there. He found me immediately. Hold on. Hold on. Reach. Can't quite reach. I'm going to chase it down. I'm going to chase it down. Turn around and face with the sharky man. I wish you were. Gone. Gone. See what happens when you don't have the wrong tool? I can only grab fish bones out of you and absolutely no fish steaks. That is a damn crying shame. Ooh. Key to the door on the bow of the ship. Thank you very bloody much. I wonder where the door's going to be. Excuse me, excuse me. Where... Can I kill the jellyfish, actually? This might hurt. Nope, can't do anything. I have to test it for science. Look at you. Look at you. The pride of the deep. Now you're upside down and floating. Get wrecked. So it was the key to the door on the bow of the ship. Uh, there's no doors there at all. And this is the outside of the ship. I doubt there's any doors in the hull. Uh, okay. I'm not... I'm not especially certain of where I'm supposed to be going right now, but I'll swim about until I find it. I've... Also got knackered again. I've got wounded. Bloody shark, man. That shark was vicious. Almost like they're the apex predator of the entire ocean. There's two doors down here, but they're barred up. And a key went out where there's boards across it. Do I have to use the axe to get to get through the, the thingos? Let's change over you for you. It's probably a little bit more handy. If I just go down there and start swinging me pickle about, will that get me through the boards? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, back in we go. Come on, stamina. Stamina and air, please stay with me. I can't use my axe down here. No, you're not a door. You're a fake door. Are you a door? You're not a door either. Well, what? what where? Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Old mate's down here and he's pointing. Yes, here we go. A hole in the side of the ship. The ship may be split in two, but yeah, here we go. Activate the door. Get your old sticky stick out, if you wouldn't mind. Something to protect yourself with. There's anything down below, like an eel or something. Ooh, a set of tools. I'll have a gander at you in a moment. Thank you. Ooh, another book. I doubt you'd be particularly readable at this point, but I'll take you with me anyway. My air is running out very quickly. Take that. Oh, jellyfish. Let's get up to the surface, get our stamina back, get our breath back, because I'm about to start choking again. One last look through, and then I think we're done. All right, I'm, I'm glad I finally found the door. I was really worried there for a second. Now, nah, I, uh, I think that's all she wrote. So, all right, jellies, you can have the rest of the ship. That's fine. Don't even need them. I can close the door. That seems like a pretty bad idea, though. No, nothing else through here. All right, we're good. We're good. We're golden. Let's get up. Let's get out. Let's go... I thought my own boat was a shark then for a second. Let's go strap me limbs back together and pretend like none of that ever happened. Oh, <sighs> okay. Well, job one done. It may have taken its toll, but at least it's over. I'm actually going to be real lazy and just travel back to my dock. Just like that. Took three hours apparently, but it doesn't matter because we're back where we need to be. Okay. Right, well, that sucks. You, you're going to take 10 hours to read A Journey Beyond the Three Seas uh, by Nicotin... Travel notes to the Russian explorer of the 15th century, which is now in the game's time. Uh, they tell him he's journey to India. I mean, it's pretty impressive that old mate had an adventure like a couple of years ago. It's already been bound, published, and distributed to everyone in all the different languages. The Spaniards have got the Russians' books now, but... All right, that's fine. Tell me all your secrets and tell me no lies. <laughs> If you want to tell me how to kill sharks out there with my bare fist, that would be dope too. So what were those sets of tools that I found? It's going to be in here, I think. Not this one, down the bottom. I definitely found sets of tools, but it's not in there. That's a bunch of stuff I'm not going to read through. That's like the log, all the books. Huh. Uh, not in here either. Oh, here we go. Set of tools. A rare set of precision tools for crafting iron weapons can be found on sucker chips. Fuck yeah, Jigglypuff. Thank you so much for that one. It's getting really late in the day. Let's quickly slap on a bando. Fix up my life a little bit. Get myself nice and healed. All right, well, I'll get my fire lit and then I will... I've got no more fuel in there. All right, hold your horses then. Give me a couple of pebbles. Not pebbles, twigs. Bunch of you. I'll go and get... Uh, what's that? I'll get my flask, actually, out of my boat and refill them so they're ready for my adventure. Just lots to do. Always lots to do. I'll we'll quickly just read my book. Ten hours to read. It's going to take me through till morning and take away a lot of my stuff, but that's fine. Read you. 
all the way through the morning. Perfect. It's now raining again, but that's fine. Can sprint while swimming. That's actually a very good book to have. I appreciate that. All right. Today is the day then. The teddy bears will have their picnic. And more importantly, I will set about my adventure. I'm not going to take my boat around here. I really think I need to. So I hope I need to. That area is now done. That area is now done. There might be some more, ooh, some more sneaky things out here. Something else is really popping up, so I don't really know. Is there a way to, like, before, like, uh, it told me how much of the world I had done. What about this one, then? You? Yeah, here we go. So, three more interesting sites. Two more pieces of the map. I've got the two sets of tools. Resources. Stone, clay, obsidian. Nice, actually. And three out of three locations visited. All right, we're getting closer. We're getting there. Just got to get on the trot. Get, just start hoofing it and get around the place. If I'm going for a cheeky trundle, I'm going to need some things. I have myself a sleeping bag now. I'll take you. I'll also take myself some snacks. I'm kind of peckish and kind of thirsty. I've cooked myself some things. So you, nom, nom, and yeah, sure. Why not? Nom some more. I'll take the rest of you. My current capacity is pretty banana, but it is what it is, I suppose. Actually, before I go, character, what's left on my to-do list? Make mushroom shoot, make an obsidian spear. I'd love to, but I have my pickaxe to get some more obsidian, so I'll do that. Craft a full set of seaweed clothes. Medical kit, make a leather backpack. I hope repairing mine will count as that. Copper saw, build a dock on Copper Island. Well, I assume Copper Island is where I get copper from. That seems to stand to reason. And build an improved cart as well. Do I have any more points to spend then? I've got three. Uh, let's go. What are you? Your thirst control. You're going to cost me two. I'll buy that one. I'd love to buy that one too. Let's quickly make up one of these bad boys. Get myself an extra point and spend all that immediately. My task was to make myself four walls. So I'm just getting real cheeky about it and just build myself one of these things. Lack of construction stability. All right, fair enough. Then one can go there and one can go like this way. I'm just going to destroy all these once they're done anyway. Uh, G to cancel. Interact. Supporting build. Okay, that one there then. Build up you. 15 minutes. One. Like, even though I've built myself a whole house, I'm going to build a specific wall. So I'm just going to spend a couple of things there. Actually, hold on a second. I just said I got a skill point. That just said I got a cheeky skill point for free. Reward game. Build four walls. All right, job done then. You change. I will disassemble you and take my uh, my building kit back again. Lovely, lovely. So it's cost me nothing. It's given me good things. Demolition supporting module is bad. Okay, got that. No, no, no. I want to get rid of you. Supporting module is forbidden. What do you mean? What? Why? Oh, hang on a second. Okay. You. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I would have thought I'd just delete those things automatically once this thing went away. There we go. It's like nothing ever happened. I got a free point. Happy days. So I've only got three places to go, don't I? There's one down here. There's like the interesting special object behind the diamond. Wouldn't mind to check a diamond as well. And a snake potion down there too. So there's one to the south. One to the north. One behind there. And I guess there as well. Somewhere hidden behind all of that. Yeah, there is. Special object just there. Okay. So those are the three I still need to get. Should be easy enough. I'll head down to that one first, then work my way back up north again. And then go mine the obsidian while I'm there as well. And then once that's done, I'll have conquered Bird Island, ready to go off and get myself murdered on Copper Island. This is a non-stop adventure, but usually ends pretty badly for me. I can see some sort of outcropping all the way up there. I'm heading in that general direction, trying to stay away from the mountains and the harpies while up there. You're looking pretty fizzled at me though. So that there, when I was like trying to take the shortcut across the cliffs, that Right there is what I was trying to avoid. Because, like, just up there is where the stone pile is. Oh, the stone pile? Yeah, there was, actually. In fact, in the most recent update, they added more stone piles. So, I guess that's one of them. That's where the big stone deposit is, though. I was coming up through this way. I was just going the long way around this time around. All right, that's fine. At least I know where I am. Having a fully fledged out map is so good. I see something flashing on the big wall over there. I'll go and have a gander at you in just a moment. So is this like an altar to the sea gods or something? Is this where we go and praise Poseidon? Because let's be honest, the oceans are heckin' bloody calm. If I can start paddling about in a boarskin canoe, then Poseidon must be pretty appeased for the moment. I'll grab that stick. Thank you. I might need to build myself a campfire at some point. Couple of cheeky coconuts as well. G'day, crabs. How are you? Just out for a cheeky scuttle? All right, Zoidberg, you do you and have your best way at it. What am I looking at here? What's the time of day, by the way? It's midday, but cloudy is the dickens. So I can't see a sausage. 
What have we, what have we got? Hang on a second. I might actually show you if I just read the thing. Yeah, here we go. When death had taken the last of the highest ones, the great hunt ended. But the family and loved ones are the highest ones. Being the gods are like the chiefs, I'm not sure. Who were gifted uh, longevity, faced an even worse fate than death in battle. The day after the end of the hunt, all the gifted ones were brought to a high cliff above the deep sea on the island of the birds. One by one, the gifted ones were brought to the cliff and fed a poison of the, of the spot frog, which immobilized them. And those who drank were thrown paralyzed to the bottom of the sea to drown. At the end of the day, uh, there were no gifted left alive and their bones rest at the bottom of the sea. Their race of immortals was destroyed forever and only mortals dying of disease remained on the island. Well, that doesn't seem especially smart, does it? All right, well, the you do you champion, lick a frog, have a cheeky slurp and then get <laughs> punted into oblivion. All right. Who are you, Shekel Khan, getting sent to Shabalba, you and your giant jade dog? Guys, guys, I found El, I found El Dorado. Get excited, or rather, Chel Dorado. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. So is this where all my tribute comes to? Do they send them off the edge down to the, the spirit world? That's morbid as shit. All right, well, let's go have a cheeky gander and see what's happening at the end. Oh, there's some skulls. Oh, another piece. Piece of the map, thank you very much. And <laughs> yeah, look, there's a old oh, mate got absolutely thrown. You got yeeted to the next suburb, ended up on the rock one. Oh, that's um, that's a that's a fair few skeletons down there. As the clouds part and shine a light on the egregious situation. I mean, well, I haven't licked any frogs lately, so I'm kind of game. Yep. What's going on, let's? How are you? Ow! One damage taken from four, that's fine. Cheeky snake potion. Jeez, you lot have seen some better days, haven't you? Can I? <gasps> I'm way down. I'm way down. Um, by how much? By two kilos. You do all of that. Okay, didn't even realize that. I picked up a frothy and got absolutely knackered by it. That was not a good combination of events. I almost drowned with all the immortal ones. Although, I'm not really immortal anymore. I'm using my Ezio vision to see if there's anything else that's of value down here. There is not. I do need a couple of bones, though. Why are you so special? How did you end up all the way out here? And can I do anything with you? No, I can inside the salt water, but I have a flask full of regular water. Them, so that's all fine. Nah. All right. Old mates just sent all of their friends off to their deaths and <laughs> kept all the swamp toes to themselves. All right. Well, fair enough then. Unlucky, everyone. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a gruesome way to do it. Well, that was an experience, but best we get on the hop and continue going. I've done all of this stuff. There's some bamboo and stuff up the cliffs, but no more interesting sights there. Just already done that one. That one there, and then that one there, and then we're done. We're so close to finishing this island. The progress has been astounding. I can't believe there's a whole other island to go to. Given this game is in early access, I really thought at most it'd be like a first little scraping, just skin deal. I was saying the other day uh, of what the game's kind of about, give you an idea. But not only is it deeper than skin deep, uh, it's also got so much more to it. A whole extra island. Could have forgiven it if they just made it the first island to get a taste, but nah. It's like, it's like a fully fledged game. I'm so impressed. In a world of early access these days, it's so unusual and it's so good. It's getting a little bit late. The sun's getting relatively low in the sky. It's actually higher than I thought it was going to be. Good God, this game is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a badger ground at me over there. That's all fine. I'm back to the whale skeleton. I mean, maybe getting late, but the bigger issue is my, uh, my energy levels are just so depleted. Turns out going for a swim and running... Basically clear across the island. It could be further away from home I want it to be. Uh, is a little bit knackifying. So I'm going to quickly duck back into the cave here. Where there's a campfire and a scorpo. Hold on. Bonk. Get wrecked. Jigglypuff. Sit all of your six legs down. And your big stinger as well. Uh, right. Hang on a second. I have my lovely sleeping bag. I'll whack you down here. That'll do nicely. Interact with you. Give you a bit of fuel and then get your lit. Lovely. And have a quick little kip. I'll actually drink you. So I've got all of the fluids. Eat you. Yeah, now nah, we're fine. We're fine. Did get a bit of a tummy ache, but that's all good. 
Interact with you. Have a little nap. Get all my energy back and sleep through the dawn. Perfect. I love having some proper kit now. Makes everything so much better. Oh, guys. Like a cheeky bump in nostalgia. It's the old house. It's where I lived for about four minutes before I just disappeared on the other side of the island. I leave anything good in here. Uh, oh, a leaf cape. I have nothing going for me, so I'll definitely take you with me. You can hold on to Cheeky Scorpo. Some rotten fruit, an extra bone. Thank you. A fire starter that can stay here, actually. Some chamomile juice. Actually, I need that because I'm currently feeling a little bit sorry for myself. A little bit gurgling in the tummy. You. In you go. Thank you very much. Past Josh. Look at Past Josh being an absolute champion. Looking out for future me for a change. A wooden harpoon. I have my stone one on me still. Not my stone, my ball one on me still. That's all fine. You're going down a little bit. I'll quickly eat both of you. Uh, shells, seashells by the seashore. Not really anything else. I'll take that one though. I think that's about everything in here that's valuable. If I take both of you. Nice. All right. Cheers, big ears. I'll leave the rest. Happy days. It's going to follow the... Whatever this is. Like this road, I suppose. Looks more like a magma flow. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the rocks for this is. I was going to say like Baltic, but no, that's definitely not the right word. I shouldn't say words I don't know. I'm just going to carve my way straight through the jungle here to get to the other side like I'm a chicken in a joke. Nope, don't go down there. Ooh, there's a couple of interesting looking things up here. Don't get distracted though. We've made it through to the other side. So there's some, oh, there's some seeing deposits right here and a jackal, but I'm heading up to that bit there. Wrap around and then come back to the Bodie boy. This would be good. It's like the last tour, the last hurrah of the art I lived on for so long. No, nope, can't get up then. Ready to continue our adventure elsewhere. So one last goodbye. Let's make sure it knows we appreciate it. There's a bunch of these Otakillo, no, Ocotillo, the other way around, uh, plants over the shop, which someone was telling me, there was a comment on a video a couple days ago telling me how like, the uh, like indigenous tribes of Southern America and Central America would use these things, plant them, and let them grow into a spiny, like, barbed wire fence, like a natural one, which is so freaking cool. And I wish I was able to do that in this, you know? Like, go get a wild boar, tame it, and grow a pen for it out of Otakillo. That would just be sick as. <gasps> Speaking of sick as, obsidian. Thank you. I don't have a lot of room in me, but I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. Did I chuck my cape on yet? I did not. Screw you, Edna. I now have a cape. Thank you very much. All right, you. I have my pickaxe. Interact. No tool needed. Oh, there now. I do need it now. It's going to... Oh, it's not going to cucumber. It's going to get close. Use most of me stamina, most of me day. But look at all the obsidian we have now. Yes, I need my little wheelie cart. I haven't been to this neck of the woods before. Oh, oh I see. I'm lurking in the fog down there. Yeah, I got you, bud. I got you, bud. All right, hold your horse. Um, all right, the horses have galloped. Never mind, I might track you down because I haven't actually taken on a jackal yet. I'm a little bit curious and, well, I am a, a bit of a cat in that sense because curiosity will kill me and I don't have nine lives. I'm the worst cat ever. There you are. There you are. I see you. I see you. Hold on. Oh, you're cute, though. I'm not sure. What a cute. Look how adorable you are. Missed you on the follow-up. Give my arrow back, please. Come back. Come back. Ow, you hurt a lot. You're a bad puppy. Gone. Dead. Can't I just tame you, though? I want you to be my friend. You give me some good gubbins, though. I'll take that. I don't need the stakes, though. Can throw those away. Do need the tendons. All right. Fair enough, then. That was um a little bit more saddening than I thought it would be, but I had to do what I had to do. There's another obsidian deposit just in the wall over here. I like that they're structured up like mines. It doesn't work the way I thought it would, where it's like the opening to a tunnel. It's just another deposit thing that you can use. I'll take you. I'm definitely going to take all of that because it's going to completely break my back, but that's a lot of obsidian. I'd love to come back for some more later on, but not to be. I'm just carrying like a lot of stuff that I may not actually need, but I feel like I do. You, go quickly repair you actually. Get you up and going. There you are, superstar. Am I still cucumbered? I am a little bit. What if I go... Actually, how far am I, actually? I'm a couple of kilos over. All right, yeah, the obsidian's weighing me down, so I'm not going to get back down to no uh, carrying penalty. That's fine. It's a sunny day in the Caribbean. Things could be much, much worse. I'm feeling good about things at the moment. Oh, my God. Look who it is. Franklin. Franklin, you're back. Let me give you a pat. Actually, not with the spear this time. 
Get out, Frank. Ah! Alright, I thought you would charge me to nibble on my toes then for a second. Oh, he's real oh, he's real feisty. Franklin, please, after all we've been through together, what do you mean you're mad at me? I only shamelessly murdered you and carried you around like a limp sock puppet for a, puppet for a little while. And now you're cranky? Probably justifiable, actually. All right, never mind then, Franklin. I guess, uh, I guess you're not so good at burying hatchets with your little turtle flippers, but that's all fine. I should just need to go right about here somewhere, I think it was. Pull out me, not that one. Yep, me pointy stick. I've gone past it. Is it here? Hang on a second. It is here. Oh, it's a canoe building joint. So cool. Give me that. Can I take this one? Tree bark. Thank you, but no thank you. The badge is kind of stroppy about my presence. Is that all there was? There isn't any more? Like it's a little French girl in an orphanage? Nah, surely. Surely there's like a little table or something here. I need the rest of my map. Nah, there's there's nothing here. There's nothing here at all. I reckon Franklin, the cheeky bastard over there, has racked the map piece and he hit it in his shell somewhere. But all right, I'll just carry on. Oh, cheeky long handle. There might actually be some other good governments around here that might be able to use. Nothing else through here. Um, so like regular items don't show up. It's just like the special items that do. And nah, that's all there is. All right. Well, let's continue on then. Off to the next bit. Off to the next one. That way. That way. Don't need to go to the obsidian. Then we're good to rock and roll. All right. All right. We're almost done. I can see a shiny tablet. Oh, as the sun peeks out and lights my way. Oh, I do. I need clay. Those are coconuts. Oh, there's the piece of the map. Add a piece of the map. That should mean that I'm now done. You... 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 2 out of 2, 3 out of 3. I am all ready to rock and roll at the next joint. Take the bones. Oh, some bone arrows as well. Don't mind if I do. Cheeky deeky. Take all of them if I can, actually. Pile of scrap for coal. No, thank you. Any extra arrows? Not really. Take you and you. Use my Ezio vision, my eagle vision to... <gasps> what are you? Oh, it was just bone arrows. It looked like a sword. It looked like a sword, and it got me rocking a sword, but no, it wasn't to be. Just another arrow. All right, fair enough then. I hope you do a shitload of damage. I only got five of them. Does it tell me? Base durability 12. Deals at least seven damage per shot. One damage per shot. Okay, so the bone arrows are considerably better, plus their durability is always better. Oh, so this is like a mustering ground for the army. All right, what are you going to tell me? Another skill point, thank you. It was not long before the mortals realized who poisoned the wells and a hatred for the immortals blazed up. So, oh, this is like a precursor to the big jumping cliff to Shabalba back there. Gotcha. Uh, more than ever, and awoke a terrible rage which was destined to burn the immortals to ashes. Horrible as their, was their hatred, as they were poisoned and uh, devoid of healing. Weak were the bodies, but the spirit craved for death of their enemies more than their own living. It did say they were poisoned back on Shabalba Rock, didn't it? Alright, fair enough. Casting away everything else, all mortals went to the Great Hunt, went on the Great Hunt for immortals, and there was no island befallen. Uh, sorry. And there was no island befallen, no stone overturned, no cave unsought, and all the mortals were found, and most of them slain in bloody battles. Listen, it's like in 300. If you call someone immortal, at least they'll be immortal, not like a cheeky splinter to the earlobe is enough to take their noggin off. Feel like immortal might be a bit of a misnomer there. You keep using this word, I don't think it means what you think it means. Uh, but there was no limit to the rage of the poisoned who found their prisoners, or the poisoners rather. And the last of best people fell in the year of high sun, defeated by the rage of sick and dying immortals. All right. So, this is where all the sickly gathered and got a real cranky bands about stuff. Fair enough, then. So, did poison their wells. I mean, I've been drinking out of the wells. Does that mean there's, like, bad stuff there? I don't know. We'll go have a squiz at that, but real quick. Anything else good? Mm, no, not really. All right. We're done. It's all over. So, this was the well. Any snakes around? Oh, some clay. I do need that. Uh, I'm way down. What do I need? I'll eat you. Eat you. You're weighing me down a little bit. You're a kilo per fish, so catch your bloody later. Get rid of you. You're repaired. You're nice. I don't need you anymore. We'll leave a couple just in case. 
Jaguar potion. I mean, actually, that was in Eldorado, was it? It was a Jaguar, not a Jade Dog. It was a Jade Jaguar. The age of the Jaguar has dawned, as long as your potion has more body. Negative medicine from the living water. Temporary provides unlimited stamina. Holy, that can give me more than three seconds. I'm all about it. Oh, the clay's so, so heavy. That's what's weighing me down so much. I can take one. I can take one, but I can hear some battle music and some howling and growling going on. So I feel like my stay has uh, outlived its welcome just that little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear a python. And I see a dingo. All right, hold on. Hold on. Get bold, get bold, get bold, get bold. Stab. No, come on. You have a big old long noodle. You got to put it down when you get the opportunity to. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Gone. Okay, I just need you guys. I don't need the rest of the meat. I'll take all of you. Thank you. Oh, it's now getting very dim. The sun is setting. I want the clay though. How can I make six kilos of room in my bag when I don't have a lot of stuff I'm willing to throw away? Shit. This may seem silly, but I'm going to have to drop an obsidian shard just there so I can now move again. It'll all stay here for me to come back for it later, but... Clay is so much harder to find, and there's a lot of obsidian deposits around. There's no clay deposit anywhere. So I think I'd rather take the clay with me for now. Might better come back for the rest of it before I leave the island. Probably a bad idea, actually. So with that fast travel system, actually, does that mean I can come back to this island? Like, my base here can stay my base. I can just go on, on resource runs off to some of the other islands to get the copper that I need. Oh, not now. Not now, Danny Ricardo. It's night time. I'm a little bit trepidatious. I'm heading home. I can see me house. I just got to punt it and get back there. It's good to be home and like a responsible person who lives in a tinderbox. I did turn off all my lights before I went away. I'll quickly just light you back up again. I wish that like... Oh, that didn't work for me at all. Hang on a sec. There we go. I wish that, like, I could just take that fire and light you. Like, once you have fire, fire's fire, right? Why do I have to start all over again with you? I can just grab the fire out of that. That's going to light up everything I need. Put all the stuff I need to away. That's a good haul of obsidian, too. I'm stoked with that one. Happy I went and found that, uh, that mine for it, because I need it for all my weapons and things. All right, I'm going to try and be smart about this. I'm going to need some food. I'll take those ones with me. Thank you. Take the steaks, too. Why not? I'm going to need... All, not, maybe not all my medical supplies. I'll take one. Oh, i got two of you now. I'll take a couple of poisons. I'll take some bandos with me. Not all of them, but just some. Not sure about taking... Oh, yeah, tobacco compressed like that as well. Not sure about taking my special potions and whatnot. I might leave some of those behind. Take you. Eggs, no thank you. And I might even bring... I've got my fire lighters. That's all fine. I'd love to go there and find a cannonball tree immediately so I can repair this and come back and get it. That's a kind of like what I need to do first and foremost. It's kind of the most pressing thing for me. I'll take my builder's kit. So when I get there, I want to build myself some sort of shelter. Take the hammer to do so. I've got a pretty well kitted out obsidian axe. That's all fine. I'll make myself the obsidian spear before I go. But I think I'm ready to set sail. I do need some stamina. So I might have to sail through the entire day tomorrow. But I'm willing to do that. When the sailing's good, you get sailing. As much as the bone knife seems to be a really easy thing to do, I'm actually going to make myself an obsidian knife because I've got the resources now. May as well. There you go. I'm not exhausted just yet. I'm about to be. I'm not too far off it. All right, that's now done. So obsidian knife. I need a short handle. All right, hold your horses. You. I thought I had a spare handle. I do not apparently need myself a big branch. Grab you. Uh, short handle. Crafting. Handle you. Whip up one of those bad boys. Thank you very much. It's going to hurt me a little bit, but... Oh, it's already bloody daytime. All right, just going to sleep through the day and sail by night. Long stick. Liana wrote for the spear. That's all fine. Should be... Yep, you and you. Nice. All right, we better rock and roll. Obsidian knife. Make. Thank you very much. And then obsidian spear. Not in proficient rod, although you need... Copper for you as well. And a copper needle, actually. All right, so I'm going to Copper Island soon, so it should be good. Obsidian Spear, whip up this bad boy as well. 
There we go. I'm now kitted up to the gills, ready to rock and roll on a brand new island. Let's have a nap and get ready to go. Because I'm trying to start this new trend of actually thinking things through for a change, I've loaded up me cart with all the gubs that I need. I'm going to wheel it down to the dock. Plus, having a cart on the dock to bring goodies back up to my base, not a particularly bad idea. Especially if I'm hauling back a whole bunch of copper and whatnot. So I'll bring this down, whack it on the dock, and then get sailing out past Doodle Rock. We're heading north, off to new lands, new adventures, and probably with the same old problems. You know, most of my problems are me and my own muppetry. We're loaded up and ready. Got 100 kilos of storage on there, which is just wonderful. Take the helm of you. I've got 6,200 durability. Let's go sailing up to here. Region map. I found the way out there. I've completed the island, so confirm. Is it going to tell me how much it's going to take out of my canoe to get there? Nope, just gotta hope for the best. Please don't wreck my canoe with all my gums inside. I'll be very upset in various kinds of spaghetti if you take that away from me. Like the soggiest of overcooked noodles. Animals have vision, hearing, and instinct to approach unnoticed. You have to crouch and sneak up from, on them from behind. <laughs> or just let them run at you and poke them in the eyeballs. Didn't work for a shark, but we'll see how we go. I'm, 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 I'm anxious. I'm actually kind of anxious of what I'm about to come up against. Copper Island. I hope this is Copper Island. Or is Copper Island going to be like an island off the main place? I don't know. I have so many questions. I'm ready to go. Oh, here we go. Step sail to Buffalo region has been passed. Find the Santa Maria. All right. Well, I'm not really seeing an awful lot at the moment. Oh, I mean, I see, I see a ship. I see a mast. Well, I don't know how it's ended up up there, but all right, died then. So I've got... Oh my God. So there's four islands to this. Oh, I can place markers. I never knew I could do that. All right, that's going to come in handy. There's even like a little ship scrawled on the map just there. I reckon that's where I have to go then. Let's go have a squeeze. My canoe did not get damaged on my cross ocean voyage. Oh yeah, this is... uh. <laughs> This is slightly ominous, isn't it? I kind of regret coming at night now. I thought time would pass on my passage, but it hasn't. Now it's just dark and scary. That looks like a juicy little landing spot for me. Just pull you up right here. Stay away from... All right. As ominous noises start making their appearance. Oh, didn't want to get in the deep stuff, but that's all right. Okay, well, it's way too dark for me to go exploring. So what am I going to do before I get too bold? Uh, hang on a second. Can I... No, I can't, apparently. Can I grab you? Get into my storage, please. This one, give me my sleeping bag. Thank you very much. And just quickly chuck you down and have a little kip. I don't want to go getting too bold about it, get myself in trouble, and I can't see what's coming for me. So you, I'm soaked. That's fine. Don't really care. I'm just passing the time until morning anyway. Oh, like that. Take you back again. Oh, yeah. There you go. The sun is glistening off the tops of the masts up there. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. We've landed on the new island. We have to explore the Santa Maria, find the captain's cabin, and start all over again. But this time, armed with all the goodies. We'll have to come back and spend some time, start my survival on a new island in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. Possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If we're going to talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.